Um, hey guys, it's going to be episode 3 of the um, sprite animation tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at how to do effects. Sorry it's been a really long time, but I'm going to do this episode and then the next one. The next one's going to be really short, but I'm going to try and keep this one short too. I'm not going to drag it out. So all that we're going to be doing in this one is just showing you guys how to add like an aura effect. So right here we have the little animation that we made in the last videos. If you wondering how we got here, you can go ahead and watch those. But we just have our little thing of Goku here. It's, it's actually really easy. Um, all you're going to want to do is go up here to where it says insert and then click on new symbol and you can name this whatever. I'm going to name it Aura. And then this is important for the type. You need to make sure this is set to graphic, not movie clip, but graphic. And then none of, the, none of this the advanced stuff matters, but click OK. And then you're going to go file, import to stage, just like we did with the sprites before. And then I have my effect here. You can really find effects anywhere. Like usually I just do it on Google, but just the only thing that really matters is that it's a GIF file. I don't know how to do videos in this. I'm sure there's other like videos on YouTube on how to import videos into here, but I only ever use like GIF files for the effects and it works perfectly fine for me. But yeah, we have this epic aura here. If anybody wants this effect, I can um, put it um, in the description, like just comment and I can send it to you. But after this, um, then we're done. We can just click this little back arrow here. And then once we find where we want the aura to come in, so mine's right here, this frame here, um, we're going to add another layer and make sure um, for this case, if we want the aura, we want it to be behind him. So insert our keyframe and then you can just drag this onto here and then you can see it shows up there. Um, we can resize it however we want. Okay, and then obviously right now this looks pretty stupid because it's the wrong color and it has this ugly um, black background on it. So to fix that, what you're going to want to do is make sure you have the aura selected. Um, go up here to properties and then you can go frame and then on here where it says blend you can go through and for different effects sometimes you want a different one but usually I'll go with screen or add and I think here add looks better because it's brighter but for different effects might look better and at the end of the day it's personal preference so we obviously want to make this blue so then you're gonna go here for filters and just click plus and then go adjust color and then hue is gonna give you the ability to change it to whatever color you want so I'm just gonna match it with the hair there you go I think that looks pretty good and then we can adjust the rest of this stuff too Okay, I think this looks good like this. So then you can see already you have a sick aura in there. But we obviously want to have some animation because when he goes away and it doesn't just immediately appear. So what I'm going to do is create an extra keyframe here. And then for this first frame, I'm just going to... Oh, selected the wrong thing. There we go. I'm just going to pull this downwards, Oops, anchor point down, um, just pull this down so it sort of just will have this animation of it starting up like this. I think that looks a lot better. And there we go. Yeah, this, we need to animate accordingly with a little teleport. Right here, just do our frames. And then here, I want to match with the blur of the teleport effect. We're just going to do the same thing we did before. We go frame. And under filter, we're just going to add um, blur this time. So then you obviously adjust the blur however you want it. I think that looks pretty good. And, and there you have it. Aura effect looking good. And yeah, so that's, that's basically what you're going to want to do for effects. But I feel like to make this look really good, we still got to add more stuff. Like this isn't quite where I want it to be. It looks a little plain. So the first thing that I'm going to do, which... I think makes everything blend together really, really well is using the same filters we did before on our Goku sprite here. Same thing frame. Under filters, I'm going to add glow and select inner glow. 
there we go and I'm gonna turn it up a little bit and then you can see it really looks like the aura is around him because with the glow it just it makes everything blend so much better in my opinion so what I'm gonna do is I don't want to have to go through the next frame and do the same thing so I'm just gonna do this and copy the filters and then on the next Goku sprite we could just go ahead and paste them paste filters this looks a lot better but I feel like we can still add more to it so next thing I'm gonna do is just so it doesn't look so plain and just kind of choppy right when he transforms I want to add like a big like burst of energy going around him so I already have this in here but um, obviously it's going to be the exact same process as it was with the aura insert your symbol and then import your gif and then go back so here for this layer I'm actually going to do it on top because I want the burst to be on top of them drag in our thing and then like we did before we got to go to the blending the screen or add still think add looks better this time let's get it size to how it's supposed to be so just so it's not completely white and so it matches a little bit gonna select it and this time we're gonna go up here to this color effects tab you're gonna go over down here to advanced I want it to be blue so I'm gonna drag down the red you don't want to do it too much but drag down the red a bit and then I'm gonna drag down the green a bit too so there we go that kinda of adds a whole nother layer to our thing that makes it look a lot better and sort of more impactful so obviously you can use all of these exact same steps if you're adding like a blast or anything like that it's all the same principles you're still just gonna to wanna to click insert and add your symbol to the graphic whenever you're adding a like GIF and then whenever you wanna edit one of your sprites to the FX you're just gonna click on frame and then you have the color effects and the filters that you can work with tomorrow I'm gonna to release the one which is gonna be the last one for the series which I'm gonna show you guys how to do camera shake which is gonna really really make these hit hard because right now it looks cool but you know it doesn't really it doesn't really look that cool like as much as it could but once we make the camera shake it'll completely change it it makes a massive difference so make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notified when I release that and you can watch it um but in the meantime, thank you guys for watching and have a great day. <laughs>